Hi, in this slide I want to graphically show what happens when we weed our most problematic customer or problem employees. So let's say if we weeded five, or let's just want to make my round number numbers easy, 10% of a, of, a, of a work team pool of people, giving everybody else 10% raises not to miss them, and even adding, if you can, you can find one more person to throw off the boat, then you can have their wages too. You'd be surprised how fast eight people will find the ninth person to throw off the boat. But what happens is by weeding these people and then starting doing public public praising, publishing, publications, and so forth. So we're constantly uh, monitoring, you know, basically what the few achievers are doing to make things happen. The coasters have a whole different framework. Before, they were sort of thinking, you know, job security is being a little bit better than these guys down here. But going forward, you know, now it seems like, you know, the whole company culture is all about being up here. Well, I'm just not that kind of person. But of course, you know, I probably could work, you know, 20, 30, 40%, you know, more effectively on a steady basis. And I'm happy to, that these tigers are here making things happen because if we don't have people who are taking risks and making new things happen, cracking new accounts and bringing, you know, making new structural operating profit development happen, then how are we all going to get fed? So I'm happy to kind of go along and pat them on the back and tell them they're the man or the woman type of thing. But what we're getting is the bottom 80% of the payroll, the new bottom 80% of the payroll, now has moved up dramatically to become sort of what I call turbo steadies. And that's a huge increase in the attention, the energy, the focus, and the capability of the payroll. So that's just a graphic illustration of what we're trying to do to weed, to feed, and upgrade everybody's expectations. Thank you.